Okay, now what's up with the acidic water? I will check there. I think that should be good enough. This sometimes doesn't work. Might just be a bit slow. I think there's no Roboport coverage anywhere here yet. So I will just start doing that. Just in case I want to send things here. Or build things here. Basically more of this. Okay, now if acidic water ever is too low, I guess I might even increase this. If acidic water ever is too low, it should be regenerated quickly. I'll just increase it so that it doesn't want to lag at some point. Might even try to get some storage tanks from the bus. And then get more crystal growers. And make even more crystal. So where did those tanks go so far? I guess they are just at the bottom end. That makes everything a bit easier to pick them up. I have over two stacks now. Over three stacks. Someone wants to send me stuff. I refuse at the moment because I want to build at higher speed. Go to places, do stuff. Maybe I should not spend all of my chemical plants. Eight more crystal growers. Nine, I guess. Nine is fine, but I might also take more. There are helicopters flying about IRL near me, and I hate it. Wonder what they do all the time in the middle of the night. I wanted to get some chemical plants and also I might want to rebuild this so that some of the tanks would rather go into the logistic system directly rather than being put out again. So this will limit to let's say 50. Hello, bear suit. Yeah, I'm playing this on Twitch for the first time. Normally, I'm only recording this for YouTube. And I guess I'm at the green 
science level, which means the computer age technology pack, which is about here. Hope I didn't miss your chat for too long. Had to look to the side for it. I wonder why those heat chemical plants are not produced anymore. They should be right above there. Probably because, no, it's not for a lack of steam. Wait, I guess I'm just not requesting them. Yeah, I think bus is at least the easiest thing to do. It's not a total spaghetti mess. But I sometimes um, don't keep to the bus rules, like uh, I'll just randomly have stuff go all about the place. And then I had this mess, which is kind of a mall for machines and stuff. And because I didn't want to deal with too many enemies and the lake, I will bend the bus to one side. I didn't know exactly. I mean, I had steam trains and I have exactly one steam train in use for steam. No, I guess. I wonder why steam is there. Okay, probably for oil. Um... Does these oil rigs, or the oldest oil rigs, need steam? The newer ones take electricity. But yeah, um, I think because there are so many things, I will not use trains for the usual stuff. In, in vanilla, I would use a lot more trains at this stage. Don't they run on actual steam? Okay, uh, I guess they take other kinds of fuel. I wondered whether there was any kind of train and any other mod pack that actually takes steam. Maybe I misremembered, but maybe it was somewhere. It shouldn't be too difficult to implement, I hope, for modders to make trains use fluid fuel. Like Pyonodens use a lot of uh, liquid fuel for certain processes. Yeah, barrel steam, that might be a good thing. But I'm not sure how these steam locomotives worked in real life, whether they put steam in there or just water and coal. I guess that's the thing I remember, having a tender with coal behind the locomotive. Yeah, water and coal. I wonder at some point they probably transitioned to diesel. And I guess that is then not using steam anymore, but just the combustion engine. I think I'm playing with the official mod pack. I don't know if there are any more. I might just save the game. And click load. What is it really used for? to 
know what I'm doing basically. Otherwise, maybe the clock is something I tend to add. Factory search, find stuff, map view with no black lines. That's good to make these black lines disappear. Type visualizer, maybe. I'm not sure if I turned it off somehow or if that doesn't work. Maybe I have to turn it on manually. Uh, this is what you mean. I didn't really notice it. Does this work with normal solar panels or is this somehow a different item? There is this solar power tower. Solar laser tower. Maybe I didn't consider that before. It's a red-green technology. So this already uses heat exchanger and heat pipe and steam turbine which are things that I now build for nuclear, but at a much earlier level. That's actually cool. Should put that on the line and maybe after the rocket control unit and try it out soon. Just forgot which uh, things I put on the research queue. This personal robopod and the silicon production, probably. But I don't really care about the research right now. I'm far behind what I need to actually build. There are many things that I haven't really tried out yet. Yeah, that's a lot of output. Created the first nuclear reactor at 35 hours. Guess that's quite a long time, but I'm always a bit slow. Yeah, eventually after I played my fair share of Space Age, I will probably try to come back to certain mod packs and it would be cool to then maybe play with other people. Although maybe that might also increase the problem of where have I built something or have I built something yet. Because then it's not only you to blame, but also others. I guess I wanted to also place the crystal growers to make more crystals. Yeah, I wonder what people will come up with after phase age. There will be a bunch more modding possibilities probably and the base game will be a little bit different.
So I will just try to drive through the factory and up to the left to go to the crystal growers. I had to turn off some of these labs before uh, because of my power usage. Maybe nowadays I have increased my power production enough to make more of them run. Not sure if I want to make all of them run, but let's just see. That's a big spike. And it's using the accumulator charge at the end of the day, so maybe not all of them immediately. Maybe three. Let's see how this does. So now the accumulator charge is finally properly used up. And I hope it will survive the night. Which means now the research works even faster. Hello train. Usually it doesn't arrive there. or. I guess I rarely see it. Okay. I think belt weaving wouldn't quite work, or would it? Maybe it would. Should just try this out. Except that this is not very properly built yet. But it will be in the future. I would have hoped. The trees are in the way. But I guess I don't have to build this forever. And now it would be cool to have a personal RoboPort. I should be able to build this, but I'm always lacking behind a bit with those things. So, like this. And then this will be there. is five long. Should already configure them while going up. One in, one out. Need to remember the positioning.
This is a bit of a shame that I can't walk between those. I guess you have to temporarily die. And I guess the tree doesn't have to die actually. Can continue to suck up pollution. I should really work on a personal robopod next. It's kind of boring to do the same thing over and over again. And also on the power armor instead of the modular armor. I'm not even using that yet except for inventory space. And now I think I built the red belt the wrong way around. Thank you very much. Yeah, I would really like some bigger labs in Factorio 2.0 as well. Or some kind of bigger chemical plant. Sometimes it's difficult to build uh, these big plastic setups. They take a lot of coal and put out a lot of plastic. But I'm happy that the fluid system will be improved. That will be also quite helpful for getting the petroleum wherever it needs to go. This doesn't have an output yet. I hope all of the other ones have input and output. Eventually I should produce speed modules to make them go faster. I wonder how this circle works at the moment. I built this at some point and then I'm not sure whether it should work like this. I think so. So if there are enough crystals they will stay on this belt and just make a big traffic jam, crystal jam, and then once there are enough they will go on this belt. So far I have produced efficiency modules and productivity modules. I might already try to go to the next level. This is just simulation data and two modules each. 
And simulation data should be a lot down here. So this shouldn't really be difficult. Maybe this is one of the things I will do next. Then I could upgrade everything where productivity is involved. Not sure what else I wanted to do. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. So... I guess I will just build more machines right there that stuff split go down go down with a funnel i don't actually need the red circuits so i should do something different here Just simulation data to get now. Yeah, uranium probably takes some time at the start or in the meantime I had problems with lubricant because the the cracking with the distillation towers is a mess and making sure there's not too much petroleum and not too much light oil was a pain but now I always should have enough lubricant I hope having too much of it wouldn't be a problem that might also be the case that's a good idea yes using the heat from those rather than of these machines. Currently I'm trying to use up the solid fuel that I'm producing from the petroleum. Maybe I need a more intelligent circuit network that turns off some of the refineries if I have too much petroleum gas or other different settings for getting rid of light oil this whole chain is a mess sometimes but at least I found a way to build this uh, so that I can blueprint it and make more of it okay I wanted the simulation data next goodbye tree Already did some combat today. Haven't really done that in a while. Okay. The first modules are going to be produced. They will just land in these chests. I will click on this, then I will click on that and choose the one next to it, and I will say 100. I guess this takes a bunch longer than the other modules, 30 seconds, 
compared to 15 seconds. But I also need two of them each time, so I guess it makes sense. Eventually I might increase the production for modules. Now that I say it, I might also do it now. I do have space still a little bit. Just the same stuff going somewhere else. I guess it's not really nice to not have this extendable. Yeah, I should just move this instead. Yeah, maybe I should try to figure that out with the distillation towers eventually. And I hope this will also work for the electric version later. I guess it should work because the heat pipes are always a challenge to also get them in somewhere. But surely it might be a way maybe with rotating it correctly. I also found that this uh, production of lubricant, it has two lubricant outputs, so you might basically rotate this and still properly design this on both sides of one of these heat pipes. Oh, that's cool that the heat can transfer. I guess I never really considered that. I think that's the same with um, nuclear power as well. But I think that's something for another day. Am I not actually here? I guess I was just too far away from that place. Okay, efficiency. And now I will just build more productivity production. What happened to the red circuits? I guess there is a problem. I might have to investigate that soon. Maybe more productivity modules means more red circuit consumption. But also I might use the newer ones, the level 2 productivity modules, to make better... Um, red circuit production. I guess I can just use the same amount of factories there. And eventually I will also need to put in the old productivity modules that I would take out of other machines. Definitely thanks for these tips with the research and the solar power and the distillation towers. I will reroute the red circuits.
Yeah, I also never really think about ratios. If something is missing, I will just add something. Or make better belts or whatever I think is the problem. It's not always correct what I think, but at least uh, sometimes it helps. So what is this lacking? Insulated wire. Why is that? Copper cable. So copper seems to be missing still. Uh, yes, one of these drills has run dry. I wonder... Yeah, maybe I need to go there and get copper from there. I'm already sending drill fluid over to the lead mine. So this is already quite close. And luckily there are always uh, forests, so... I have the induction matrix unlocked. I think that's some kind of accumulator thing. But I haven't really worked it out yet. Or done anything with it. There is Informatron. That tells me about the induction matrix. So I need induction coils, matrix solenoid, converters. Yeah, I guess I should look into that soon. Sometimes I fear getting into things for the complexity. And then there is this induction matrix tile. Is this necessary to be the floor? Or does this only... Is this only decorative? So yeah, I will uh, deliver those matrix, no, module cores for now, and then I will drive the car to the new copper drill location. I think I have a lot of deep drills on me. And also I should take some modules with me. and place them in a bunch of stuff. Especially for the module production. Make that a bit more productive. Yeah, I should really do that. Otherwise, uh, this is currently a blueprint I have made or a thing I have planned to build. So this will be built eventually, but I wish to avoid things like that in the future. I guess uh, also that with the solar arrays might be replaced by the heat solar thing. I wonder where I might want to throw these crystals. And I did actually drive the car to the red circuits. And I forgot to introduce these module cores. They are now lacking as well. Not sure why, but I could introduce the uh, the crystals here. I guess now that I'm streaming this mod pack, I can also do a lot more stuff focused in a way. 
because I don't have to record like a few times a uh, half an hour or something and then for weeks I will do nothing and then I will do something again and then in between I will have forgotten everything so streaming for like over four hours seems to also make the factory grow I'll probably not stream for much longer but uh, at least the copper mine needs to be set up. Can take this drill away. How did that not collide? Anyway, I will probably already build the belt backwards. Maybe this one. I think even for that I will not use trains because I'm a bit bored. Setting up trains can lead to more danger. Yeah, there are a bunch of to-do list mods. Sometimes I use them. Sometimes I just place some tags somewhere. I guess this time the only tag I have used is the neodymium tag. Because it might be hidden below accumulators and also it was interesting. Probably used for magnets. At least I have some real neodymium magnets I guess I will just go up for a bit and then to the left before that big forest Sadly, I don't have far reach mod. I always uh, wish to have this mod on. To not have to go too close to every place. And luckily this game, Factorio, is a bunch uh, more intelligent than other games. Where um, it is not easily possible sometimes to build a belt backwards. Because in other games, sometimes the belt then thinks it should go the way I build it. Which is not always wanted. So I guess I will have to bend a bit. And maybe there I will use some tunnels. And maybe that tree might die. Okay, I'm actually already there. It's a bit difficult to see these ores. They might also seem almost decorative. I wonder whether four of those miners will be enough already. And I'm not sure about... I guess I didn't... Yes, I have some... Efficiency module level 1, I could also make the next level very soon. Or just now with these uh, research things. 
Simulation data. Now I already walked half the way, so I will not um, take the car again. Thought about running back to get the car. Probably I will need power. Not sure if fuel will just be enough. It might be enough actually. It doesn't say anything about power consumption or is this just the drill fluid? Okay, they are working. And I guess I could build a few more. It's nice to have even at the stage that I'm at still some thing like that, fluid uh, power. That's wrong. Okay. That's a bit sad. I'm out of belts. I guess I will let the labs rest for a while. And there is another thing that I almost didn't see. I think this is the last one. And also I need to put some efficiency into all these things. Solution 14 instead of 20, that's good. I guess by now the belt is quite full. This will just be as a backup whenever that one is not full anymore. I guess this should give me a bunch of copper. I'll just check whether everything arrives properly and maybe at some point I need to add more arc furnaces and casters. Now this is stuck, which is fine. I guess I might also add efficiency and speed here. And I guess eventually the red circuits will regenerate from their problems. And I might as well increase the productivity there and there. At least at the start. Sometimes it's it matters more at the end. 
because uh, all of the factories have enough resources. Probably this can't accept productivity. It's just crushing. And the insulated wire as well and the copper wire probably also needs productivity. Probably none of the plate making recipes or the smelting of the copper can accept productivity. I like it a lot. It's uh, one of my favorite current playthroughs. Um, I'm a bit crazy, so I also play Nullius at the same time and Pyonodons, and also I started BZ. And I also did some kind of quality simulation run for Space Age. But so far, Exotic Industries is one of the best doesn't get too heavy on the balancing side like Nullius does sometimes. In Nullius I need to balance a lot of fluid resources and in some of the mod packs also like Peonodins there is a bunch of trash that you have to either get rid of or store for a while and only later you can actually make use of it. And I like this age progression system, even though I couldn't imagine myself playing that in vanilla or it's good that it's a mod basically. And then there are also some cool recipes that basically produce the same thing, but also basically result in trash again. And then I need to feed in the sand back after crushing the semiconductor or the, the faulty semiconductor. Now I want to see whether enough copper wire is produced. There's definitely more copper coming through but maybe I can still make more. Yeah this is definitely not at the maximum. Some casters might be nice. And right now this is only feeding onto yellow belts. Still have enough casters with me. Um, there, 19. But I also wanted to do something with the productivity. Probably fetch more of the better productivity modules. Or maybe even more efficiency. Oops. I might just build one efficiency level two factory. Oh, this isn't properly connected anymore. I haven't played that yet. I have heard of it. 248k. Um, Wasn't there someone involved with the name of Chaos? Or maybe that was another mod, but I'm not sure. Oh, 
Okay, good to know that this already has a successor. I wonder when I will have time to play that. So it's good that they actually backported some of the interesting ideas and features. Always nice to be inspired. I did only try one of these um, alien beacons. I picked one up and was totally surprised one day that uh, I got followed by a bunch of biters. So, and I still need to do something with that beacon eventually. There are so many things that I haven't yet fully looked at. I wonder whether I had built a deep pump jack yet. Can also access cryoflux and phytogas. Oh, there is a beacon overload mechanic, good to know. Yeah, I haven't yet done anything with beacons, I just unlocked them today, but I guess some builds are uh, built in a way so I can fit some beacons in. This, for instance, is almost built in that way. Still would have to maybe put um, substations on one side rather than these power poles, at least if the beacons are still 3x3, three three, then this would fit. But also there's a lack of oxygen gas. Maybe I need to get rid of hydrogen another way. There's probably a way to vent gas. I would have hoped. Not sure if there is. In other mods there is one. A way of getting rid of fluids. Okay, liquid nitrogen is that? Yeah, I had to. I had to. Yeah, the research was something with cooled, hypercooled beacons or just cooled beacon. There is a next version, compact beacon. Let's look at Informatron, Beacon Overhaul, 4 beacons max, good to know, so they have 8 slots and these have 3. Good to have something like a soft limit rather than a hard limit in space exploration, which I'm also sometimes uh, still playing. Um, there's just one beacon allowed per machine, which is a bit drastic, but I guess I 
find the new mechanics in Space Age interesting. More than eight, yeah, I will have to figure that out if I'm still playing by then. I hope I will manage to play a bit more regularly and maybe stream a bit more often so that I can at least have one modded playthrough done. Not sure what the end goal is of this playthrough, but. Uh, Probably there will be something after the rockets. I have seen some planets, or at least it looked a bit like planets. And I wonder why this is all separate researchers with the EM train acceleration. Now that I look at it, it's very interesting to see all of these things. But yeah, there are different planets. Mars, I guess it's like, seems a bit like the solar system. Sun exploration, Uran planet. I wonder if that's a planet with uranium or if that is Uranus. So it seems a bit like a space exploration taped onto industrial revolution. Yeah, I don't really care about spoilers, but you can tell me whatever you want. Okay, mining and research. So will this be like a separate surface on Gaia? This only consumes energy. The arc furnaces consume a bunch of energy. Let's see what I just did. I guess this is the change I just did a moment ago. So if I could replicate this, that might be nice, at least for things that actually do anything.
and maybe one efficiency module in each of these purifiers. Yeah, I'm not sure when the rocket will be done. Still a bunch of researchers, I might just do rocketry. There. And I guess I need uh, knowledge stuff. I haven't yet started with knowledge, so that will be interesting. I guess the gate will be something that relates to other places. Oh, there's a bunch of military or claimable stuff. I guess there's no military science pack. Weaponized solar energy. Not sure if I should do that. First I want to do all these flammables. I wish there was a button next to the start research which also directly switched to the next in line if there's just one. One click less. Yeah, okay, then I might not try this. I guess I am very slow at trying any kind of combat anyway. I want to try the cannon tower soon. I only did some combat with laser and gun turrets today, mostly laser. I guess there were some bases here that I killed to make this defensive line go up here. Earlier it was only there. So I can bend the bus up basically, this is what I did. And that is still something I want to rotate. But now I should have enough copper. No, 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 no. This almost went bad and sometimes I'm very indecisive and then I do the thing between totally braking and totally driving and just drive very slowly and then I would get hit. Or sometimes I, if I want to avoid an obstacle, drive left and right at the same si uh, time and that would mean I drive into something. Okay, it seems like copper plates are enough. Iron plates are good. Everything here seems to be fine. I guess. I have some brushed iron in my car. I'll just leave this here. Also, a bunch of coal, coke, pellets and coal. 
which I don't really need to carry around all the time. I think this is just a big loop. Not sure whether it's for fuel or for other things as well. And this is where I could introduce some coal. There's no power there. Probably because most of it runs on coal. Do you play any other interesting mod packs? Or other games that you like? I will be playing Satisfactory from Tuesday onwards because of the version 1.0. Yeah, I've played the demo of that. At some point I will also try to buy this game. When I have time to play other games or focus. Do you have a reasoning for dropping it or is it not fun enough? I sometimes look for people to play this, but I'm not sure whether I would start a playthrough right now. Only if someone really wanted. Um, I'm playing with Crestorio at the same time, the Factorio playthrough. And a bunch of other little mods like Factorissimo and some quality of life things. I built a kind of nice uh, blueprint for rocket automation. But it can be kind of tedious to make sure that the correct stuff uh, arrives in the correct amounts. Not more, not less. And I had a little bunch of problems with these um, delivery capsules. When there was no power on a certain planet and the circuitry did not have any energy to function and then things were sent anyway, even though the capsule chest was full. And then it got blown up a bunch of times and so on. I can't really remember too much of the feeling back when I started on that space platform. 
And I definitely used a lot of robots there. I wonder whether I would ever try to build a bus in space. But it's also kind of difficult because the belts, or the space belts and space pipes have limited range. And only much later there are belts and pipes that are longer, or maybe only belts, I'm not sure. So I used robots a lot and they crash a bunch of times and then I need to replenish the pool of robots. In the end there is a funny circuitry puzzle that you might enjoy, but I seem to struggle with that. I don't know if you have heard of Arcospheres. Have you watched anyone else play Space Exploration? I only copied a blueprint from someone else on the internet to solve this. And then I ruined it in my last play session. Removed some stuff and now it doesn't really work anymore. But yeah, I guess I will end the stream here. Thank you all for watching and I will try to come back soon. Mm -hmm.